Holy cow. Hey y'all, it's Beth. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for dropping by. And if you are returning, thanks so much for your continued support. I'm excited to have y'all with me today because my good friend Hetty has been dropping off boxes of goodies that she is just giving to me. She's no longer gonna be a reseller and she's cleaning out her inventory and she's bringing me boxes full of goodies. I don't know if you've seen on Instagram, but so far she has brought me over 170 pieces of jewelry and she's also brought me this. So here are three boxes of goodies as you saw in the thumbnail. Most of this I think may be clear glass. There's some clear glass in here as we can tell. Not sure what all is in here. I did kind of go through and if I saw some other jewelry I uh, picked it out and put it in the jewelry but y'all that's what we're going to do today is we're going to start going through this because I have no idea how much is in here. Uh, uh, it may be two videos, but uh, let's get going, y'all. Okay, y'all, I've never really done a video at this angle. I'm sure it's the best for me, but it is a lazy Sunday afternoon, um, so it is almost like a pajama haul. So I hope you have your pajamas on. You can go through it with me today. Um, I did it standing up instead of sitting at the table because I really don't know how to get down in the boxes. So I'm actually going to start with this box right here just because a lot of the things are open. Now, um, I know you were able to see that she has given me this cut glass book and I'm super excited about that because of a lot of the pieces that are in here are clear glass. Mm -hmm. And if you did not see the open collaboration with me and Katie from Vintages Vinyl and Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry, I'll link that above over there somewhere for you and in the description below. Y'all, clear glass, we're having it come back in 2022. So make sure that you are using your clear glass around your house in a variety of different ways. All those videos in that collab did just that. It showed us how to use clear glass. So I'm super excited about this book. Now, I was looking at the publication date. I really haven't gone through any of this stuff at all, but I want to look at everything. So original copyright was 1975 and the values were updated in 1995. Now, we never go by the pricing because things just change, but I do wanna look at some of the patterns so that I can be a little bit more knowledgeable um, when we're talking about all the different styles. Here's some ice tubs, uh, some jewel boxes, miscellaneous bowls, all of those things. Let me get close up. Here's some cream and sugars, and I know we see those a lot, but I'm excited to, in my free time, go through this book, but I also want to start identifying correctly some of the pieces that I have. I know Katie is really good at that, but I need to still learn. So thank you for this book. And then this is going to come in super duper handy, y'all, because like I said, she gave me already over 170 pieces of jewelry, which I know absolutely nothing about. So I will be talking to Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry. She and I are actually going to do a live chat here on the channel and we're going to be identifying some of the pieces as well as uh, talking about pricing for those pieces. So in here, it does have a few pictures. Let me see what the date of this thing is. Let's see here. Copyright 1998. So it's not too, too old. Um, it is vintage because it's over 20 years by all Etsy standards, y'all. But it talks about the different types of clasp, a pendant, a brooch. So I've got some ways to look some stuff up and I'm super excited to have this book as well. All right, let's see what's in the box. We saw the stuff on the top, so I'm gonna take out, there's like four things in here. We'll start with the biggest one. Of course, it's all glass. This is a beautiful cut glass bowl, and I can tell you I know it's cut glass because it is super sharp. Let me show you right here. I love those faceteds and those diamond points, but y'all, these are super, super sharp. Um, I'm looking at it, and it looks like there's a mold seam right here, but y'all, this is just too sharp. Even in here is sharp, and here is sharp. I'm not sure that this is actually pressed. 
I, I, I would have to ask Katie Vintage and Vinyl about that because I do actually see a seam on both sides, but the diamond points are so, so sharp. They're really sharp, and it is sharp around this little scalloped edge as well. But any holiday with at Christmas different colored um, little Christmas balls are filled with Santas. Um, anything for Valentine's Day, some lights in this, that would be super cute. And it's pretty heavy, so it must be lead crystal. All right, this one I love. And this one is pressed. It's not nearly as sharp, but I love the design on the bottom, if you can see, and that it has three little feet. I love footed dishes. Uh, again, said anything in here, even put some candy, just dressing things up. Um, this would be great in the restroom to put maybe like um, some soaps in there. Uh, I know I put the hand pump soap in a bowl like this just simply so that it can catch any drips, but I really like this. Love that pattern. That is super cute. And the feet, that's my favorite part. All right, the, the next, next thing does say full lead crystal and it is by Linux. There is the sticker right here. Now, I've had it out in the garage, so it's a little dusty, but it's just like a little probably nut bowl. I love the design in this as well. Um, that one's really neat, and it helps that it is marked. And then this one is made in Poland. So this is Polish glass. It is Julia. That's the marking on there. It's a little creamer. If you can see that, but this is the little square pattern. Uh, which is very different, so I like that as well. I like the singles. I like to use the different singles. All right, not sure what is in this box, quite honestly. Oh, here's a piece of Mikasa that she has gotten. Let's see, at least it says, it's, that's what it says the box is. The box says Mikasa Fiesta Poinsettia. It's a votive candle holder. Let's see. Oh, it is, and it still has the tag right there. So what a beautiful, beautiful design. It says, do not burn candle to the end in here, but it does say Mikasa Fiesta Poinsettia Japan. Now this may be something that I could put in my box of things when I start um, posting on eBay and listing on eBay. This may be one of the items that would go in there. Uh, of course, I have the booth to and shows and things, but, you know, I am starting to consider. Not sure when, not sure if, but I am starting to consider. All right, there looks like there is something in here. Oh, how pretty. This is made in Japan. Look at that footed little luster teacup. And it has the most intricate little handle, y'all. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I just love that. Now it is marked Japan right here where my fingernail is, if you can see that. That is so darling. I love that. My friend has good taste and we shop together a lot. So um, I get to see that. Oh look, here is another Mikasa poinsettia. So here is a set. Now these things are pretty heavy. Um, they're in perfect condition. I'll just wash them up a little bit, but both of them have the stickers. This one does not have the box, though. All right, bring back the clear glass. What is this? A swan. Look, I love it. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this? Oh, there's a sticker. Hold on. This says, what does it say? France. Crystal, crystal. De Arcs, France. It is a genuine lead crystal. Oh my gosh, I love that. I absolutely love that. And there is the sticker on the bottom. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Goodness, and there's two more things in this box and then two more boxes. All right, here's a matching cup. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. So now I have two of these. Look at those pedestal cups. Those are amazing. No chips or cracks in them. Oh my gosh, look at that 
beautiful flower on there and that luster love love and oh how pretty is this let me get this close i dropped the box on the floor this says antique berry set it says fifty dollars there's a sticker on the bottom that says fifty dollars this is made in china um for decorative use only but it says antique berry set fifty dollars and I don't know if, I don't know if that's considered cloisonne. I don't think so. But look how beautiful the design is in that bowl. That bowl is amazing. And look at this handle. Oh my gosh. No chips or cracks in that whatsoever. How beautiful. This beautiful burgundy color. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, that is so, so pretty. Okay, hey, y'all, so all of that was in one box. I am super excited about that and a little nervous about it all being on the table when I have two more boxes to go through. So let me stop the camera, reposition the boxes for the next set. Okay, y'all, okay. here we go. I've repositioned a little bit. We'll try this angle. Um, I felt like I was kind of peeking around looking at y'all, but... I have a, I can't even hardly lift it, but this whole box is full of stuff. Now, all of this stuff is wrapped. So we are gonna have some crinkling noise. I'll try to speed up through this part um, and go really fast. She wrapped it so well. <gasps> oh, y'all, look, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, that's on the inside of a bowl. Oh, wow. And you can literally see through it. Can you see right here? You can see through that. And it says on the bottom, let me move this chair out of the way, hand-painted Nippon. It does say hand-painted Nippon right there. Y'all, that is beautiful. Look at that. And it's got its little Feet. It's three footed. Oh, I love that. Look how beautiful those autumn colors. I know that Dolores would love this. She loves the autumn colors. Oh my gosh. First thing out of the box, y'all. And I am like, what? All right. These feel like candlesticks. So let's check. Sorry for all the rustling. She has a lot of packaging on here. Linux, China. Symphony candlestick, hand decorated with 24 karat gold. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I don't know where she found all this stuff. I do know that she thrifts, and I know that she was a reseller on several platforms, but I think life has just gotten busy and she's decided not to do it. So I have that. That looks beautiful with this bowl, as a matter of fact. I think this is the other one, so let's check. And there's no chips or cracks in these. So now I have two of these, a matching set of these. So y'all, as I'm going through this stuff, I will tell you I know nothing about any of it. I have not comped it. I haven't even seen it. Um, but look how beautiful that and that is together. Oh, that is just stunning. So if you see something that you know something about, please leave me a comment below so that um, you can help me learn. I mean, again, she is just gifting all of this to me and I am so, so grateful. Um, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed because I don't know anything about it. So if you see something that you know something about, please, please, please leave me a comment below. I really do appreciate when my viewers do that. Also, if you see something that you're interested in before it goes to my booth or a um, upcoming show that I have or even a live sale, make sure that you email me here at scprincess1 at comcast.net and um, I can let you know if it's still available. Let's keep going because, y'all, I may not get through all of these boxes. Let's see. Oh, this is multiple pieces, so hold on. Whoa. This looks like the lid. Oh, I love that pattern. I hate to throw anything. Oh, these might be coasters. <gasps> Heads up, Patrick. I see some coasters. No, not coasters. 
but it is a lidded box. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't drop that. That kind of matches the creamer. So hold on a second. Okay, y'all, I had to go back and get it. So here is a little lidded one, and this is the same pattern. Can you see that? And I don't know what this would be. Maybe you could put the little um, equals and all of that kind of stuff, that sugar substitute in there. I don't think that's a sugar bowl, but could be. But it does match the piece with the creamer, so that's fun. Oh, I'm so scared I'm going to drop something. <laughs> all right, let's see. And like I said, I may have to just call it quits because there's a lot in here. Oh, I don't know what to pick up first. Her wrapping is amazing. Sorry about all the noise, but now you see why she wrapped it so well. Oh, that is beautiful. These things are so heavy. Let me show you the little ivy on there. That is a beautiful cut glass vase. I love the swirl. You see how the swirl goes up and around? This is amazing. There's no mark or anything in it, but oh my gosh, let me see. I don't see a tag. Nope, no chips or cracks in any of this stuff, y'all. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that would be so pretty with a spring bouquet. Oh, and it's so heavy. I know I've said that a couple of times, but it really is. And holy cow. Y'all, look at this beautiful pressed glass basket. Oh my word. Now again, I do not see any mark or tag on this. Also no chips or cracks, but look how big this thing is. I know it's hard to see, but here's the design. It's just so heavy. This is gonna have to be some things that go in my booth or my shows because shipping might be a little much, although we do have the option of um, UPS now, so that does help. All right, let's see. We're already at like, oh my gosh, 20 minutes. So I might just do a few more pieces. Let's see. Uh, uh. Tune is Silent Night, so it's a music box of some kind. Oh, y'all. Look at this angel. Look how beautiful with a little dove and some flowers. And it says here, the tune is Silent Night. The wings are in absolute fabulous condition. On the bottom, it says Carlton Cards. So let me see, eight fifty was the price tag on that. So. That gives me a little bit of a starting point. I mean, because these things are gifted to me, I will just be listing them. And I tried to pay Hetty and tried to pay Hetty. So I think I'm going to trade her some videos, some DVDs, and some games for her boys. All right, let's see what else. Oh, he's cute. Look at this little turtle. He is darling. Now, I don't know what he's made out of, so if you know, leave me a comment below, but you can see his little face there. It has a sticker down here. I really can't see it on the bottom, what it says. At least I can't tell, so if you know anything about this little turtle, let me know. That's cute. All right, a few more pieces, y'all. I keep saying that right. Mm. Oh, I did tell her I wanted these. Now, she showed me a whole bunch of pictures, and I did tell her that I wanted these just because I love them. Look at that detail on there. And then I think she said that this is silver at the top. But here's the bottom, no marking. Um, but the design in these are just beautiful. So I think they're, both of these are in here. Yes. How fun. Okay, look how pretty that is, y'all. Now, I can't wait. I am actively seeking a hutch to display all of my clear glass. All right, 
we are at about 26 minutes. So this is going to be the last piece. And then I'm going to have to make this two hauls because I don't even know what's in this bag over here. And I'm not even close to dipping out everything in this one. Here is, this one is Royal Limited Crystal made in the Czech Republic. So there is a sticker right here that says that. I know you're not going to be able to read that, um, but look how beautiful all this clear glass is. This is also very heavy. Oh, so pretty. So y'all, I know I've showed you so many pretty things and so much of this clear glass stuff. So tell me what is your favorite? I'm going to be honest, I like everything. I love everything. Um, three things stand out to me. One, this bowl right here stands out to me just simply because of the coloring in that. Um, the salt and pepper shakers, because I was really loving those in the picture. And, and the other thing is this bowl, because y'all, the design in there, oh, is amazing. The colors in this, and look at that handle. I just love this. Now, I don't know if any of the other pieces are somewhere in these boxes, but this little bowl is so cute. It says it's a set. I think this is a berry bowl. I don't know if there are little dishes in there. So y'all, we're gonna have to make a second video. And she said there's way more stuff and this doesn't even include the jewelry. Oh my gosh, what a blessing it is for her to gift all of these things to me. Hetty is a wonderful friend. We've been friends for a long time. Um, and this was just way too much. What it's just, I don't even know what to say. It's just way too much. What a wonderful gesture. So thank you so much, Hetty, for this. And I can't wait to see what's in the rest of these boxes here. So y'all make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed going through the boxes with me. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. My channel is growing and I'm super excited because I am gaining viewers who are helping me to learn about all the pieces that I am finding and it looks like I'm gonna need your help. So please make sure to uh, leave a comment if you think you even know anything about any of these pieces below. And also make sure to hit that notification bell because if you set it to all, anytime that I release a video like the second part of this or a live where some of these items will be for sale, um, not to mention the live with Dolores that is coming up so that we can go through some of the jewelry that she gave We're me. just going to take a little bit at a time um, and try to go through well, it. Thanks so much for watching y'all and stay tuned for the next video because there's more goodies to come from these boxes. Y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye. <laughs>